In this module, we're going to be looking at T MTLS, right? So exactly what is MTLS, right? So the M stands for mutual, right? And then we have TLS that we're already familiar with, right? So mutual is, is really we know something's happening on both sides here, right? So if we look at traditional TLS uh, conversation here, we have the initially the client sending that hello packet, right? Then we actually have the web server responding with the hello plus it's cert. And at this stage, what we're really doing is we're authenticating that web server using the web server certificate, right? And on that certificate is essentially the public key, right? But with MTLS, what we have is now the client is sending over its certificate, right? And what's actually happening is the web server is verifying this certificate, right? Just like the client verified the certificate a little bit earlier on, right? Now, that is essentially the key difference between MTLS and TLS, right? So really now we're authenticating both sides, right? And if we look in the context of where this is happening, this is happening at the handshake level, right? Um, that's the phase where we're exchanging back and forth the certificates and all that kind of good stuff, right? And then also, you know, we do have that finish model where the client is actually sending that finish packet and the server is then also sending that finish packet. So it's actually happening after the initial hello and before the finish, right? And really, that's that's really the kind of phase. So it really is over here that the MTLS is actually happening. So now the question really is, is why? Why do MTLS, right? So really, there may be situations where we actually want to authenticate the client, right? So think in terms of IoT devices, right? Don't, don't necessarily log in, right? You know, we want to put a certificate on there to authenticate it, right? There may be microservices that we want to do. There may be devices that we want to authenticate that may be using cloud delivery networks, right? Um, so, you know, there are a number of reasons for this, right? But you have to remember something that's kind of unique, right? You know, and that kind of comes to the question, why don't we use MTLS? Like, why isn't it a common workplace, right? So the first thing would be scalability, right? It just wouldn't scale today on the internet to be able to authenticate a client and put a certificate, right? And the other model is how this kind of solution is deployed, right? So really what I want to draw your attention here is the certificate authority, right? The central uh, de facto authority, the root authority that actually is issuing these certificates. So what would happen in a normal TLS connection, not an MTLS, a normal TLS connection is a public, you know, trusted CA will issue the certificate over here for the web server, right? And then we would verify that certificate, right? But in the MTLS, right, what will actually happen is the organizations rolling out the MTLS, right? What they're going to be doing is they'll have their own, they're going to have their own server, right? Well, they're, they're going to become their own certificate authority, right? And by becoming their own root certificate, right, what they're going to do is they're going to issue a certificate on the client side, and then they'll also issue a certificate on the server side, right? And really, that's the key differentiator here, right? That you're actually issuing, you know, the organization is is it itself the root certificate, right? The root certificate of authority. And they're the ones that's actually issuing that certificate. So this is really more of a closed environment that you're doing this in, right? Um, and really, you know, we kind of go back to this question, why? Why do we want to do MTLS? So really, the big question here is, you know, why we want to do it? And the answer is simple, zero trust, right? So when you have conversations regarding MTLS, it's really providing zero trust that we are no longer trusting that client, right? So that's an important thing to remember. Thank you.